I think it's important to be able to pay it forward. I've had actually three different kinds of cancer. You have to learn how to cope with knowing that you're going to be uh, going in for scans, going in for blood work. The idea of a biobank is fabulous, actually. We collect blood, uh, urine, tumor samples, any other surgical procedure, what we would be discarded. Whatever is left over, we take it in the biobank. It's literally a bank with many freezers that organize various samples. The technology has gotten so much better that now we can do all kinds of genomic, proteomics analysis on this tissue that we couldn't do, say, 30, 40 years ago. Cardiovascular disease, cancers, Alzheimer's, diabetes. I think every disease, there's more we can learn. Whatever you have done throughout your life, it shows up underneath the microscope. We need more people participating so we understand how effective these things can be for everybody. We're not all, you know, 70 kilogram Caucasian males. We're all different. And for us to really take that leap of medicine from this standard approach to more precision, personalized, we need to understand every single person. We are doing a project on pediatric brain tumor that's very, very rare. When we look back in our biobank, we had cases that were collected from 1980s, and we could go back and pull those samples out. And we can do like today's sequencing on these samples that were collected in 1980s, and we're getting valuable information for them for kids who will benefit from this information years down the road. People from all walks of life need to be involved in what they're looking at under the microscope. We have to be those agents of change. You can make an easier go for somebody else. You are hopefully gonna be helping your family, it's true, your children, your grandchildren, but it doesn't have to be anybody related to you. I mean, it just makes a difference to do something. We're putting all these samples in this bank to make our future research better. As a cancer researcher, as a surgeon, many, many patients have contributed very generously for us to do the kind of cutting-edge research that we're doing, and we hope to continue that.